Hey guys, um, welcome back to a new video. In my latest everyday makeup video, I asked you guys what kind of other makeup looks you would like to see and a lot of you responded with a drugstore tutorial, which I thought was actually really fun. Um, I have a couple of drugstore products already here, but I thought it would also be fun for me to kind of go shopping and to try out a couple of products I've never used from a drugstore. So uh, yeah, let's go shopping and then we're gonna recreate the natural makeup look I would wear in my daily life. So let's go. Okay guys, I just got back from uh, from the drugstore and I got a lot, a lot of new goodies. Um, I always enjoy makeup shopping so, so much. But um, a lot of products I've never tried before, so um, I hope it's gonna work out and I hope uh, it's gonna look good. Um, I actually, I had a facial yesterday, so I have like a tiny little bit of like breakouts and I also feel my skin today is like super sensitive and red. So I went shopping for that, first of all. I got this Prep and Prime from Neutrogena. And this is like a redness correcting uh, cream. So it has this green, it's like a green cream and the green will take away the redness in the skin and I probably put on a little bit too much. I'm just gonna spread this out. So, well the redness went away for sure. <laughs> I look super super pale now but we can fix that with some foundation. It feels good actually. Um, okay, the foundation I'm going to use is this True Match um, by L'Oreal. This is the color C3, Creamy Natural. So I lost my foundation brush for like 500th time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna apply this with, uh, with my hands. So, okay, I'm going to use my beauty blender and I'm going to blend everything into my skin. So it is spring and I kind of want to create like a very spring, uh, summery look, not too heavy. Nude colors, you guys probably know what I like by now. I actually really like to apply like foundation and all kind of products with uh, with my hands. It's so much easier and like you don't have to clean your brushes. So what I really want to show you guys as well is that you can create a very nice and beautiful and like a very similar look to uh, a makeup look with a lot of like high-end products. And I do have to say that this foundation actually looks really good like it really blends in well with my skin i feel like it's a medium coverage which i really like because i don't like if it looks like you have like paint on your face i do look very like pale now but i think it's very much the lighting it's like the first kind of sunny day in new york city um okay then i'm going to use this hydrating lip treatment also by Neutrogena I always see the wipes like a lot of people on set have them so I was like okay I'm not in a drugstore I'm like I'm going to use uh, this brand for like the basics of my makeup so this can like sit in the meantime a little bit and I just realized that I also forgot to buy something for my eyebrows so I looked into my cabinet and I found this one from CoverGirl and what I actually really like is that you take out the top and there's this tiny little um, little brush then you take this and you can use it 
Mica. This is the color 715, it's like a dark brown. My eyebrows are actually quite dark, so I think this will be the right color. And I'm just filling this in. So, eyebrows on point. Little brush actually worked really well. It was super easy to fill in my eyebrows. So, okay. So as you guys know, I am like really into all the like new color kind of uh, eye palettes. So I found this little mini palette by Maybelline, and it is the five five zero. It has this beautiful like nude orangey kind of colors. So I'm gonna start off with the white basic well, it's annoying that they don't have like little mirrors in there but there we go because I'm using this as a base then I'm going gonna go in this like darker color and I'm gonna go into my crease you know how they always like do big like spring spring cleanups so I feel like I have to do one as well and especially for like my makeup and like skincare I feel like sometimes it's just really really good to do this once a year like a spring cleanup where you go through your whole apartment or your whole room and just like get rid of all the clutter so I feel that's going to be um, that's going to be on the list for this week so I'm gonna take that same color and a little underneath my eyes okay then I'm gonna go into this brownish color a little dark brown and put this put this on the side Okay, then I'm gonna mix this like orangey and pinkish eyeshadow and this I'm going to use on my eyelid and oh, I've never really used those kind of colors. I always skip this in the palette but it will be fun to like try out a little bit. So. <clears throat> I'm sorry if it's like zoomed out, zoomed in because I I wasn't really prepared, so first my battery was dead and then I didn't have a card on I didn't have space on my card, so that's why. Anyway, I'm like really into this color, it's like super, uh, super, super fresh. Um, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I feel if you have like light eyes with like this kind of uh, orange color, it like really pops out. It would also help if the light comes comes through again. Um, okay, what are we gonna do next? Okay, let's finish up the skin a little bit further. So, <laughs> I don't know, I think I forgot a lot of things today, but um, I didn't get like a bronzer or contour. But what I did find was uh, a CoverGirl um, foundation, which is way, way, way too dark for me. But this is going to be a little trick of mine. So if I don't have a bronzer or anything or like a contour palette, what I normally do is that I look for a slightly uh, darker foundation color and I just blend that a little bit and I use that as a, a little contour so that works there we go so um, then for uh, the highlighting and the blush, I got these two sticks from uh, from Revlon. I recently I just really like the all the blush and like highlighter in a cream form because it just like blends really well with uh, with the skin. So this is the color um, 310 Candy Kiss, and I'm gonna apply this a little bit. Thank you. 
and the blush if you have a creamy blush you can just like use your fingers and then for the highlighter i'm using this color 210 and this i go a little stronger so they're like if i don't have a lot of time to do makeup they're just a few things i do i do my eyebrows i curl my eyelashes and i put highlighter on for me those are like the important things of like a makeup look the highlighter just like really makes your uh, face glow on the right spots adding a little here and a little here I'm also taking my finger and just put it on the inside of my eye and for the mascara I'm using this Maybelline the Colossal Volume and for me this one is kind of I've been using this like for years I feel this one was actually my very very first mascara I don't know when I start wearing makeup maybe when I was like I don't know was it 14 13 maybe 13 I don't know I should actually look up a couple of like old all the uh, makeup looks I used to do it's so 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 bad I had no idea what I was doing honestly this is one of my favorite 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 mascaras and still today I feel if you want to really like make your eyes pop like this is fantastic and I also just realized that I haven't done any concealer yet I was just like why do I see my spots and I was like ah I totally forgot so I'm going to use this uh, cover girl Clean Invisible Light Pale. Taking my beauty blender. And okay, and for my lipstick, I'm gonna go for a nude lipstick because I wear that like all the time and that's like for spring. Um, I got this from L'Oreal, the um, color Riche, Riche Matte, Matte. And, ah, oh my God, it's broken already. Okay, well, it's not super sharp now, but Okay, so it was either I was too strong or I put too much pressure, but I didn't. Uh, that's so weird. There we go. Okay, so I got a couple of new colors and I couldn't really see which one I like the most. So I'm just gonna show you guys all three of them. And then we're gonna choose together. So I have this like more pinkish one could be cute this is more like darker nude and this one is like nude nude it's hard to like describe let me see i know which one is gonna be i don't want too pinkish because my eyes are a little bit orangey so um that wouldn't look very good the winner is <laughs> Rufflon. <laughs> it's the 205 champagne on ice what I actually really liked when I put it on my hand, it was a little like see-through. It was not super heavy. So. And basta. So this is my summer look and it's all drugstore products. Um, I'm actually really liking it. I'm liking the eyes, I'm liking the, I'm liking the, the lips and I don't know if it was the, the green stuff where it really makes my skin like not so red or it was the foundation. Either of them, it worked really, really well. So guys, um, I would really love to hear from you as well. What kind of different makeup looks you want to see? Um, the drugstore one was very like high requested and I actually really enjoyed doing it as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in my next video.